Hello and welcome to a texturing tutorial about layering mental ray shaders. Um, I'm Alvin and I'll be your guide today. In this image that we have here, it's a pair of dirty boots that have metal tips. So you can see, you know, there's it's rendered out in mental ray. And it came out pretty good, you know. I mean, they they're pretty much identical, except they're using two different shading networks. Now you can't see that at render time, but you can clearly see that in the viewport. The right boot, or the boot on the left, is using. Maya mental ray textures as well as a way of layering those textures using strictly mental ray. As you can see, mental ray doesn't really show up in the viewport that well when it comes to the colors. The boot on the right or the left boot, I should say, is using the Maya shading network, the default Maya shading network, with at least one mental ray texture, which you can see is the metal tip of the boot. Maya's textures, by the default shaders, show up in the viewport, you know, when you can, when you turn on um, texturing. So you can see it it shows up and it lets you know exactly how it's going to look at render time. So when I render this out, I can see where the dirt spots are. I can see where the metal tip is supposed to be. But like I said, m mental ray textures don't show up in the viewport. So you have to actually render it out and check to make sure that it's working. So let's see how I went about creating these two different shading networks. This boot on the right, which is the left boot, is composed of this layered sh shading network. And as you can see, it incorporates quite a lot so I'm going to recreate this shading network just to give you an idea of what it needs to actually work. So let's start by creating a layered shader, which is my default material. As you can see, layered shader automatically comes with a default shader. And that shader pretty much is, has its own transparency set to it. So by default, it pretty much gives you a shader on there. But I don't want to use that shader network. I'm going to actually create my own. So I'm going to start by creating a blend, which is what I used originally for the boot. I'm going to turn down this reflectivity. I'm going to turn down this intensity, and then, I, th and there I have like just a plain, plain old boot. Okay, so in the materials for the boot, the boot has already has, like before I go any further, the boot. already has its UVs laid out. So I already have textures created for this, so I'm just going to plug in those textures into my new blend material. So as for the color, I'm plugging in the boot color that I created. So here we have the boot color. I'm plugging that in. There it is. There's my boot color. 
So next, I want to plug in a transparency because I want to be able to cut out this tip so that I can have the metal boot. So now I'm going to navigate back to my folder and look for my boot alpha ch channel that I've created. So this is what's going to cut out the tip of my boot. I mean, you can already see it in the sample preview that some areas are missing because it's cut out. Next, I'm going to plug in my boot normal map or bump map if you're using one so that I have my detail on the surface. So here it is, boot 01, normal map. So now I go back and make sure that tangent normal spaces are turned on. So in the viewport, I'm going to render this out with mental ray turned on. And there it is. There's my boot. And if I look from underneath and re-render this you can see I have my surface that I needed for the normal map so the textures are working okay I'm gonna name this blend boot 01 so now Let's go back and assign it the existing layered shader, which you can also do from the hypershade. So in the hypershade, this is the layered shader that I've created. It's, as you can see in the viewport, it's assigned to the boot. Now, what I need to do is to hook middle mouse kick, click and drag boot one into my workspace so now I can plug it in I'm gonna middle mouse drag not on top of the layer shader but actually directly into the layer shader itself it's gonna plug in automatically and it shows up boot 01 I'm gonna turn I'm going to get rid of the default shader that the layered shader created so that I only have my boot 01. And I'm going to wait for it to update. Now you can see it in the viewport, it updated and it shows that this area is being cut out. That's where my boot 01 is going to be with this metal tip. The layered shader works that everything that created to the right is placed underneath so the top layer so if you're laying when you're layering these things should always be the first one on the left and you can also middle mouse drag and switch what gets laid over what exactly but I don't want this layered shade or texture color that they throw in there so I'm gonna go get rid of it and now I want my metal boot so I'm gonna grab it the metal boot oh before rather than grab the one that's already made I'm gonna show you how I made it so it's using the Maya car material so I'm gonna drag this over here this car paint is what I used for the metal tip of the boot by default it comes in at this reddish color so I'm just gonna change it and change its lit color and give it you know similar color to what I'm looking for so now back on the layer shader 
I'm gonna drag and drop it. And wait, it's not working. Because mental the layered shader is made for my shading networks, which is why it's not working. So I can't just drag and drop like I normally would the mental ray texture in there because the layered shader doesn't even know what mental ray is. It only deals with Maya's default shading network. So I have to go into Maya's default shading network and create what is known as a surface shader. The surface shader, I can drag and drop that. And that, you can see, pops up. But it doesn't have any values to it. It doesn't have any color, no bump map or anything. So what I can do is I can plug my metal texture into the out color of the surface shader. So now I have my surface shader which is plugged in to it is the M Maya car paint metal array and with this plugged into this I plugged it into this which is the layered shader so now if I were to render this out wait a minute I don't see my metal texture. I plugged it in perfectly. Why isn't there? Well, let's see. Let's. We have to go back, and under your layer shader, you can have a tab for every shader that's plugged into it. Something must be off with my transparency. I have my alpha channel, which is made perfect. So what's wrong? What's wrong is that alpha is luminance is not turned on. When you turn this on. It gives it an absolute value of cutting out all the areas in black, leaving only the ones that you want, which are the areas that are painted in white in the texture itself. So now, if I go back and render this out with the alpha slimmings turned on, you can see I have two textures layered on top of each other. So now I have my metal and then I have my plain old boot. <laughs> so now I need to create the dirt because the boot already has its normal maps. So now I just need to create the dirt. The dirt is just the Lambert. So I can just drop that onto my layered texture. However, I want it to be at the front of the chain, so I'm going to middle mouse to drag it to the front. So now the dirt is on top. So now I need to put in a transparency map for the dirt itself and cut that out. So I'm going to label this dirt. O one, I mean O two. Sorry, let me leave it. O one. Wait, no. Sorry, I already have a dirt O one in there, so I'm just so it's labeled dirt O two. So now I'm just gonna go and click on a color value that I already have, or make my own color value for the dirt, which is fine. Now I need to plug in an alpha channel to cut out the areas like I did with the boot to cut out the tip. So here I already have my textures already created. So now I'm looking for See, I have the color, but I don't really need the color. I'm just going to use Maya's default color. So I have the boot Dirt Alpha. 
So I'm just gonna plug that in. And there it is. And like before, I'm gonna make sure Alpha Luminance is turned on. And now let's render this out and see. There's my dirt. Shows up on the boot. So all that's left is to plug in a bump map to bump up the dirt. Because as you can see from comparison, the dirt is a bit raised off the surface. So it's not just painted on there. So for this, I'm just gonna plug in rather than create a bump map or a normal map, which I can easily do. I'm gonna reuse my alpha channels because it does have similar values that I'm looking for in a bump map onto my bump area. So now that's plugged in, I'm gonna re render this and check it out in the viewport and there as you can see I have my dirt with its different values of where it's being bumped up 